Hey guys, Powering Up here is Will Power 64 and I want to welcome you guys back to another part of Kirby 64 The Crystal Shards. In the last part, we took care of the first two stages here on Aquastar. Pretty simple stages with some interesting new abilities that we had to use. And in this part, we are moving on to the third stage. This stage is the pain of my existence when I was a kid. The reason for that is one of the abilities that you had to use. Had you not played another Kirby game, you would have not known about this ability. And that was the reason why. Now, this stage is interesting. This stage requires two different combo abilities. You can find them in this stage. But to save you the trouble, because I will be trying to show off me getting both of them at the same time. It is possible to get both, but it's tricky. Starting things off, the first com combo you want is Bomb and Cutter. You want those ones first. And then if you want, do half halfway through the stage or do the stage twice... But if you follow this, you should be fine. Keyword, hopefully. We'll see. All right, let's do this. Here we are on the beach. Good old time by the beach. And actually, I live close to a beach, so I love going to the beach. You have no, it, it's actually really nice. First thing in the morning, like me and Kirsten were like, where are we going? We're going to the beach today. Okay, let's go. And we pack our stuff, we go. And then it's like off to the beach and it's just, oh, it's so nice. Especially on a nice hot day. We always go in the morning because the morning time is the best time for the beach. Where it's not too crowded, but it's just like, mmm, bright sun hitting the waters. It's so cool. And you see all the boats and all that stuff going out later on. It's like, oh, it's love it. I love the beach. Such a great time. All right. So what we need is bomb and cutter. And it is, you can find it here. It is found in this area, so we're going to see... It's actually in this section here, too. Now, again, like I like I highly recommend, like I said earlier, uh, I do recommend coming here with the ability before you, like, you know, venture off. So here we go. Here's our first one that we need. We need Cutter, which is good. Never really noticed the little islands in the distance. They're kind of cute. These tiny little islands just swimming around in the ocean. Or <laughs> swimming around. Little islands swimming in the ocean. Yes. Yes. No. Little islands chilling in the ocean. All right. Here we go. This is what we wanted. This is Bomb Cutter. We throw ninja stars. And throwing these ninja stars creates bombs. Like so. And. Yeah. There you go. See? You throw at enemies and the enemies like pause and like. Like they just like freeze up, which is kind of cool. Got these little crystals here. Ah, we almost got that guy. Hang on. There you go. See? I like that. They just freeze up and they're like, oh, we're, we're done. All right. Over here is where we need to go. Down here is this little section here where it's grass with, like, black marks going around it. Boom. There's our first crystal. And now... As much as I like this uh, this thing here, we don't need it anymore. We don't need bomb and cutter no more. So we're gonna get rid of it. However, what we do need now is rock and cutter. And here's the thing. Here's our rock. The cutter section is technically, we could technically could, could go back and get it, but we actually can get it further on. So let's see what we can do about that. All right, here we go. Cutter is here. Hopefully I don't mess this up. Cause, let's see here, there he is. So what I'm gonna do is just keep on jumping. There we go. Got it, and there we go. We got Rock and Cutter. This causes um, Kirby to transform into his animal buddies back in Kirby Dream Land 3. And trust me, here comes the story time for this part here. And trust me, I think everybody can agree with me with this when we talk about this story. Now, uh, real quick. Wait, block, there we go. Wee, off we go. Down we go. All right, in here, with this fight here, you want to be on the opposite side of this guy because when he breaks open, the hatch opens right there. And the sad thing is, if you were to fall in, you lost the crystal. The crystal would be gone. So be careful with that. Again, stay on that side. All right. Story time. You see that crystal over there? 
Passing down this entire area. You need rock and cutter for this. So, what you had to do here, you'd come over here, and you got the you would get the uh, the one up here. Now the crystal's above us. You would try to hover up. And the sad thing is, you wouldn't make it. So what I used to do was this. I would transform into the little bird as soon as I can get it. Let me get the little bird here. That's the fish. Here it is. I'd transform into the bird and try to fly up until I can't fly anymore and have Kirby fly up as fast as I could and thinking like, this is what I need to do. And I would just barely reach the light appearing. So for the pain of my existence, this was a crystal I had zero idea of how to get. I had no idea how to get this crystal. How do you get it? You gotta transform into Rick, which is this guy here. And you would have to hold the control stick. You gotta hold the control stick left and tap the A button. Because holding left he keeps him attached to the wall. Had you not played Kirby Dream Land 3 on the Super Nintendo, you probably wouldn't know about this. So there we go, just to get this crystal. And my god, as a kid, seeing as this was my only Kirby game at the time, I had no idea how to get this crystal. This crystal was the pain of my existence as a kid because I didn't know how to get it. And I'm pretty sure anybody who's never played the other Kirby games probably didn't know either. Also, I just like being the little bird here. Whee! And then, blop. Got one log there, but then this one's gonna have two. And then this one's gonna have three. You gotta be careful, because second you land on it, there you go. But we good. And now we're gonna get all these crystal st or stars. Oh no, we are definitely not getting all the stars. The Kirby, grab it! Thank you. Uh, oh, 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 okay, uh, okay, that works too. <laughs> that works. All right, there we go. All right, we got, oh, it's right next to me. And that is the crystal. That was the pain of my existence when I was a kid. Never able to finish 100% this game, and that was why. That crystal. But now, I know how. Thank goodness for that. Alright, moving on to this one. We are finally going deep underwater. Just press B and let yourself fall. Down we go to the depths. And pop. There we go. All right. Now, I really don't need this ability anymore. The one I want to grab was that other one we had earlier. The gr the cutter and bomb. That would be kind of cool to have here. Also, if you have this fish here, we can go swimming. Ow. can also hurt us, too. I want to be careful because we got rocks falling here, but this should make it so we don't get hurt. Like so. All right. I want that bomb guy. There we go. Now the cutter guy should be close by. Right, uh, we're gonna grab all these food here too, and we're gonna ignore all these missiles coming out from the ground. I don't know how that works too, but okay. The cutter guy should be nearby, because I definitely want that ability, the cutter and uh, cutter and uh, bomb, because that's really cool. All right. Now, in here, okay, in this room, there's a crystal in here, but you gotta be careful. There's a bit of a water current going on around here, so be careful. So what we're gonna do is we're going to watch out for all this uh, current stuff. Oh, and there's electric guys in here too. I did not know that. I feel like that'd be a dangerous thing to have in here, electric enemies. And there we go, there's our crystal. Onwards. Continuing the flow of current. Okay, this room. This room also has another uh, current crystal in here. There's a crystal in this room too, which you gotta be careful with. That's close. Gonna avoid these bombs. Okay, right here. This is where the crystal is. You got this uh, 
guard here. You want to push yourself all the way down to the bottom. Walk off and carefully jump for the crystal. If you miss that, you can't swim back to it because it is... Uh, there we go. Nice. Yeah, with the current, you can't swim back. It's too strong. So if you were to miss that crystal, you would have to restart the level. And I hate to say this, there's going to be another one just like that. Thank goodness one of the first ones was pretty... Oh, see, see what I mean? Like, I can't get that ice cream bar. Which sucks. I want that ice cream. I want ice cream! Ray had ice cream yesterday. I want ice cream. <laughs> so yeah, we're just going to keep throwing bombs at this guy. Pretty straightforward. Or wait for him to come back around, I should say. At least for the time being, we can keep taking out that guy. And here it comes. Throw it, and again. Boom! There we go. Pretty straightforward. I like, like, that was a pretty straightforward en enemy there. Alright. Uh, this room. Again, strong current. And there is a crystal in this in this room. Where I believe it's above. I could be... Maybe I'm wrong. Okay, hang on. We're gonna go down. I'm gonna watch out for these boulders, too. Coming right at us. Okay, ice cream's up here. Ow! Okay. I'm just gonna go down, because I think... Okay, nope, not there. I'm gonna keep an eye out. Okay, not there. Where is... There it is. Right here, bottom area. There's our crystal. So these crystals... So this is the kind of world where getting the crystals are gonna start becoming not a challenge, but, like, you gotta be careful. It's like, one shot, get it. If you missed it, you lost it. But I think... I'm not wrong. That's the end of the level. So, not a bad level. Oh, okay, that was close. I thought we weren't going to get that. That was pretty close. So, not a bad level, but definitely, uh, if you mess up, you're starting this again, which kind of sucks. All right, time for the boss of this world. This, I believe his name, I forgot what his name is, but anyways, this guy here, I believe, is Acro. Big old killer whale fish thing. This guy, what he'll do is spit out enemies at you. Shoot up bones, or he might even shoot out the cutter enemy, or gyros. So you want to watch out for these guys. So what he'll do, he'll start doing a charge attack, where he'll swim in the distance, and he'll try and hit you. This was another boss back in uh, Kirby Dreamland 3. So he's now going to swim over to the other side now. Yep, yes he is. So I just want to see what other attack he has here. He has another attack where he likes to charge right at you. So let's see if we can show that off too. There he goes. There's the other enemy. This guy's got a lot of... He, this dude ate a lot of things before fighting us, apparently. So let's see. Can he do his other attack? Yes, he is. Here we go. Where he starts swimming towards us and does that. But then he goes away, comes back, and tries to do another ground pound attack, which he did get me there. But that's fine, because I'm just going to give him some of my uh, ninja stars. There we go. And he's down for the count. Or so we think. And now the ground's falling. The ground is... A, uh, I guess a giant earthquake just happened here. So we got to go swimming. Don't worry about the stuff in the background. That's not going to hurt you. But we got to get out of here now. So we're going to start swimming up. And now begins... Once the ground stops shaking... Or the wall stops shaking, I should say. Here comes round two. Gotta swim very close to the bottom here. Because Acro is not out for the count. He's gonna be doing that now. He's gonna be swimming up trying to hit us. So you got enemies that you can grab. And of course, he'll be shooting out missiles now at you. Which I think is pretty funny. He shoots out missiles. But that's okay because... Booyah! He's down. Down for the count. And there is our crystal. Very, very nice.
Even after getting washed up, you can't leave us behind. Aqua Star is now complete. And with that, we move on to Neo Star. But this will be saved for the next part. So next time on Kirby 64 The Crystal Shards, we move on to Neo Star Planet 4. See you guys then.